If you own a manual transmission vehicle and you want to learn the most common signs when you should replace the clutch and the most frequent problems of your clutch, then you should be watching this entire video. Sign number one, the clutch pedal goes up. So if you press the clutch pedal and nothing happens, it doesn't engage until the course of the clutch pedal, it means that it needs to be replaced. The engaging point of the clutch of any car is different. Most cars and it's normal to be at the middle, but some cars have it lower, some of them have it higher. For example, my Audi has it around at the middle, but if you purchase a brand new Suzuki, it will be lower. If you purchase a Dacia Logan or anything from Renault, it will be higher. But this is a different story. If you purchase the car and it has the engaging point at the middle and after 100,000 or 200,000 kilometers it goes up and up, it means that wear star starts to build and you need to replace the clutch kit or the clutch disc. It depends, but it usually any, any workshop recommends you to replace the entire kit if you want to have warranty. Uh, sign number two, the car tends to stall easily. Now, what I mean by this, if you press the clutch pedal and you slowly release it without adding any gas and all of a sudden the car tends to go forward and the RPM, RPMs go down, all of a everything happens all of a sudden. It means that you have a lot of wear on your clutch disc and uh, even if you apply gas, the car will tend to slow. It basically, uh, it, it's kind of a forced engagement between the clutch disc and the pressure plate. Uh, this happens, I've seen this like dozens of times on cars which had lots of miles on board. And after the owner replaced the clutch, everything was, was pretty smooth and comfortable and easy to operate. So this usually happens if your car tends to stall easily, it means that you have a ton of wear on your clutch kit, on your entire clutch. If you slowly release the clutch, you engage your clutch and you feel powerful vibrations. Uh, those vibrations come from two sources. Uh, one from the bushings which keep up the engine mounted. If you don't have those kind of bushings, if you have the engine mounted lengthwise and not crosswise, you may not have those bushings. So in this case, the clutch needs to be replaced. Yeah. The pressure plate has a lot of wear and that's the main cause, the main reason why you have powerful vibrations when you slowly engage the clutch and you can't repair it. it the only way to fix this is to replace the entire clutch kit. Uh, sign number four, if you press the clutch pedal and you hear a powerful noise. At sign number four, if you press the clutch pedal and you hear a disturbing noise, it means that the pressure bearing is almost dead. Uh, most of the times when this noise appears, the clutch pedal is pressed harder than usual. I mean, it's harder to press the clutch pedal than it used to be. And the main reason is because the pressure bearing has a lot of damage and a lot of wear. And in some cases, you may just replace the pressure bearing. But again, if you go in an authorized workshop, if you want to have warranty and you have an expensive car with an expensive a clutch kit if you have a diesel engine or a car which has a double flash the double flash <laughs> if you have a diesel engine or an engine which has a double mass flying wheel the clutch kit will be extremely expensive so if you want to have warranty you will need to re to replace the entire clutch kit and sign number 5 which is the most common and the most easy to spot when your clutch is slipping If your clutch is slipping, there are two reasons. Number one, excessive wear, there, there's no surface area, there's no friction area on the clutch disc, it's entirely worn out. And reason number two, if you have any oil leaks and those leaks reach your clutch disc, your clutch disc will start to slip, even if you have a brand new clutch kit. And trust me, we've tried to clean up all the oil on the clutch disc, on the pressure plate, on the entire clutch kit, we mounted back the clutch and no positive results. It was still slipping. So if you have any oil around your clutch disc, if it starts slipping, the only way to fix it is to replace the clutch disc. You may replace only the clutch disc, not the entire clutch kit, but if you don't replace 
any of these, your clutch will continue to slip. So these are five signs when your clutch is dead. If you have encountered any of these, uh, pay attention, go to a workshop, fix your problem, replace your clutch and be careful how you drive. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.